Hello everybody! Counselor Kevin here, coming to you live from Camp Dragoncraft at the Shamrock Gardens Elementary School. I have a special treat for you today. I'm going to provide a little how-to-build guide, a how-to-build garden video for you. Something maybe a little bit like this for you first and second graders in Camp Dragoncraft that are on the creative world which is exactly like this. You guys will remember starting out here last week. This is the spawn area. Looks a little different. I built a little house here. And I got started with a pathway over here to our template where we're going to build a garden. Now you guys, you don't have this on your spawn area. I built this in here because the first thing we do is we're going to build a little creek. We have our little creek flow through here down into that river got to have a creek through a garden. And we're going to use our uh, mouse here and left click to break some grass here. We're going to start with a pond like this and then right click with the water bucket. You'll find the water bucket in your inventory. And then let's just make a nice little creek river here. Going this way, coming down here, maybe over here. I'll fix the water, don't worry. Coming down here, maybe this way. And down here okay so let's do this let's go back hey chicken let's go back with our water bucket and right click on each of these blocks see how the water's flowing through here keep it going keep it going come on water flow down through there we go how about that oh that's a big waterfall isn't it all right let's go back up here and check it out pretty good pretty good not too bad let's keep it Make a little bit bigger here. All right. There. Now we got a little pond with a creek. Although I don't really like this here. See, you guys can just experiment. Do what you like with it. And I am going to use this stone little structure I built. You guys can build one too. Come back here. Fill this out. Oh, I need the stone. Come back here, stone. I need the water too. What am I going to get rid of? Get rid of my grass. Remember, I for inventory. Where's the E? E for inventory as well. Watch this. Come on through here. There. We got a little waterfall flowing to our creek. Okay. Oh, that's getting to be night nighttime. Time set day. There we go. Okay, so we got a little waterfall coming through here. And now it's time to plant some trees. So go into your inventory and pick out the trees you like. I chose oak, so you got oak clear, dark oak, and birch. And I also have the oak wood, sp oh, spruce wood, I don't want spruce wood. Glad, good thing I looked. The oak wood, dark oak is down here, and the birch wood. And I'm going to show you why. First things first, got to plant my favorite tree, the dark oak sapling. One, two, three, four. You have to do four to make the trunk of the dark oak sapling. And now I'm going to use bone meal, which is basically like miracle Grow. So if you don't know where it is in your inventory, go to your materials tab. And bone meal is right here, this little poofy looking thing. So use the bone meal. To use it, you click right, right click and watch. Magic happens. Ready? How about that? Ooh, that's a nice looking one too. That's my favorite, the dark oak. Okay? And we can do it here with a birch wood. Let's do birch sapling right there. Right click. Ta-da! Okay, now we're going to do an oak tree. Oak tree there. Okay, we'll do a couple around here. Let's do a dark oak here uh, yeah right at the end of that walkway right click Ooh, how about that now watch what we do here that birch tree is a little short so we can cheat we can take this here let's do two no you know what let's do it with the oak let's do two oak woods grab a grass here two oak woods with the grass on top and watch this this is kind of cheating we got grass on a platform but you can build a nice tall oak tree doing it that way. Fill it in. How about that? Okay, let's get into the garden. We got some trees. Maybe we'll do a few trees later. Fill some in over here. Do a couple trees. There. Okay, now we're going to do some, do some gardening. All right, first we're going to do some farming, which is pretty cool because it makes it look a little different in the garden. So you want to get a hoe. You need a hoe. Left click, left click. Get rid of that left click again. Okay, now let's go in and get materials. We need some seeds. We're going to plant some wheat. 
go into food. We're going to plant some carrots. And I think that's good for now. Okay, so what you want to do is you get the hoe and you right click on the hoe to harvest or to hoe the land. Okay, so we got those two. You can't do this in survival unless it's near water. But this will work here in creative. So we did right click the wheat seeds, right click the bone meal, and look, it grows. Three clicks usually per block. There we got some um, wheat. Now we're going to do some carrots over here. Three carrots in a row. One, two, three. I'm using my scroll wheel on the mouse. See how I'm scrolling between the things in my inventory bar? Three clicks, three clicks, three click, four clicks. All right, that's the beginning of our garden. Okay, now we are going to go get some decoration blocks. We're going to get some cobwebs because I love to have cobwebs. The blue orchid, I love the blue orchid. The azure bluet. We're going to get that. We are going to grab vines. We are going to make some bushes. And my other favorite one here is a large fern. Okay, we're going to do it that way. Okay, let's get started. Cobwebs look awesome. And they always go on the dark oak wood for me. Right there. And here's another dark oak right here. See how cool they look? And I think we're going to have a cobweb maybe here next to the water. And one more on the ground here. Okay, see? Looks good. Looks good. Let's get some large ferns. Now, you can't have anything growing out of that rock. So, hmm, I'll put a large fern here. I'll put one here. And I'll put one over here. And just kind of spread things around. You guys, this is where it gets creative. You can put these wherever you want. Move them. If you don't like it, just break it. If you don't like it, break it. That's a good motto in creative mode. Don't like it, break it. Okay, so we got some large ferns. Now let's do some bushes with the birch leaves. These, see, they come right from the uh, right from the trees. But you can grab them and build a bush. That's kind of a good looking bush there. And we can just do random blocks throughout also here. And we'll just place them randomly. Okay. Now let's get some vines. The vines are kind of annoying because they spread. But we can have them here. And we can have one here. And maybe one way back there. And watch as we go along, they'll grow. Now let's start putting some flowers down. It's pretty orchid. Always like it right in the middle. One right here. Here. Back here, we need a little bit of color. And up here. Okay. Alrighty. This is starting to look good, look better, look better. Okay, now I'm going to take this. I'm going to take a spruce sapling. We don't need cobwebs anymore. I'm going to do a mushroom, and I'm going to get a bucket, flower pot. I'm going to take some peonies, some rose bushes, some lilacs, and lily pads in the water. Let's start with the lily pads, because I love lily pads. Here, there. All right, get one here. Oh, watch out, tree. Here. Oh, to a double lily pad. There. Before I forget, let me show you something cool about the uh, about the water. Now, when it turns to night, it's going to get dark. Let me show you. Okay. Time, set, night. Okay, now look. It's getting dark. And we don't have... Well, we do have torches around here. Let's break a few of them so it gets darker. Okay, so see, it's, now that it's nighttime, everything is darker. So watch this cool trick in your garden. If you go here to get some glowstone, you can place this glowstone underwater. And watch it brighten everything up. See? Let's do it down here. Just spread it out. Oops, remember double tap the space bar to fly. There. Don't forget, double tap space to fly. And then hold it down to go up. There we go. And there we go. Now look how bright it is. See? We're not using any torches. Looks good, right? Okay, let's get back to it. We got lilac, which is purple. It's purple bush. Purple. Now you don't want to use too much. It gets a little bit out of control if you use too many of these. Purple's a little overwhelming. But you can use more rose bushes because the red looks really nice here. 
see now it's starting to come together right but I haven't showed you the most fun part yet right here we need a oh, I, don't, I don't like it messing with my garden okay here we go all right now I can do some peonies Oop. more per it's pink but looks kind of purplish doesn't it okay now we can do spruce sapling but if you do it out in the open it's gonna grow so put it where it's not gonna grow where it's being blocked right there it won't grow and it won't grow under here and it won't grow over there and maybe here okay we got those and now watch this this is a fun little thing we're gonna do well, next to the pathway we're gonna do a mushroom now it won't grow in that flower pot it only grows mushroom those mushrooms only go, grow in this mycelium so I'll show you what it looks like if you take this mycelium you guys have probably seen this before but watch this it grows just like a tree are you ready one two bam how about that and if you look it's hollow inside but that's a big mushroom you find in the dark oak biomes and also on the mushroom island where you can find mushroom cows right you guys know about mushroom cows okay now we are going to do another one of my favorite parts pumpkins no garden would be complete without a pumpkin I'm telling you that right now and you can also if you like to do a jack-o'-lantern and I'm gonna grab this cobblestone thing too okay here we go let's do a pumpkin I don't like them right in the middle but I do like them oh maybe up here pumpkin <laughs> that looks cool okay got that one put one here you don't want to do too many <clears throat> but if you do a few let's see there we go that is a watermelon looks kind of, I'm gonna move it up put it up there okay watermelon back there sorry I'm spinning all around move a little bit too fast for you guys I apologize right there and now you can use the cobblestone wall too if you want you don't have to but <clears throat> excuse me it might enhance your walkway so you can kind of have like a little bit of a boundary if you want for your garden you don't have to that's just an idea and let's put the finishing touches on it one idea I have is to put some dead bush in there which you think sounds bad but watch it kind of looks cool if you do it put some sand along your um, little river here it looks decent you can do that put some sand in here kind of like a little beach and then you can put the dead bush on the sand just a little bit extra all right now it's time for the filler bone meal is remember I told you it's a miracle grow watch what it does if you right click Wow all right it fills all that area and so now we're gonna do that over here click See, and it also produces a few flowers. Not all the big flowers, but a few flowers. And some brush. I call it brush. Undergrowth. Overgrowth. Whatever you like to call it. Fill in all these little empty blocks. Oops. Here. So that it's almost all full. And also something that does. See how I made the path kind of broken? If you fill in the brush here, right click the bone meal. It really looks like it's not an abandoned path but not used as much and then break some of it so it's not completely overgrown you can find your way around you can just see the path right and you go up into your house double click the fly double click to fly and then shift it down and there you have it shamrock gardens what do you think let me know in the comments below what do you think about this garden that's just a little inspiration for everybody teach you how to build a little bit better I better do time set day for you so you can see what it looks like in the daytime just a little bit of inspiration for you while you do your creative build at Camp Dragoncraft next meeting is next Friday the 18th the last day of school before holiday break hooray I hope you guys like this everybody um, Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, leave them in the comments below, or you can ask me at the next session. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. Enjoy. All right, Mr. Creeper, you have a good one. I'll see you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.